Well, shalom, shalom, everyone. This is Jaina with another first day of the week. The Yehuda Project, how is everybody doing today? Hope all is well and everything is going well as it is going well for me. I'm trying to get ready for the the next week. Happen to work tomorrow. All praises be to the Most High Yah. All praises to his high and holy name. All right, Brother Donny, if you can hear me, please push one. Please push one. You can get him. All right, there he is. Let me open up his mic. Shalom, shalom, Brother Donny. How are you today? <clears throat> I'm fine, Sister Yaina. And you always have the hot and heavies when you come on Blog Talk, man. <laughs> uh, uh, that, um, that, that was one of my favorite songs by him. Yeah, Frankie Beverly and Mays. That's him. Yeah. That. Him, all praises be to the Most High Yah. Okay, so what's going on today? I mean, I got a lot of stuff I can come with, but you know, my stuff is kind of well, controversial. I don't have anything, uh, Sister Yah. You know, you know, to me, it's always you know the repeat of the same stuff every every week. You understand? Um, you know, they uh, you know, it's just uh, you know, you know, see, the Almighty's working on this America. You understand? I mean, probably uh, like any place else. You uh, understand? He's making his presence known. You understand? And you know, so you know, it's just a follow-up of, of everything that's been going on. You know, nothing that that um that nothing has changed. That's what I want to say. Oh, okay. It's all oh, it's, it's got okay. gotten worse. Changed for the worse, but. It's always it's the same thing. It's just a repeat of whatever else is going on. That's true. That yeah. is so very true. It's a lot. <clears throat> just so much stuff. It just seems like it's just falling apart. Yeah. The it, 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 you know, you know, and it's doing it. You know, it's, you ever seen a slow motion? I mean, slow motion. <laughs> you yeah. They just, you know. It's like um, a, a, a volcano erupting and the stuff is coming down the hill. It's not coming down real fast. It's coming down enough, uh, fast enough for us to get out of the way. Yeah. Crucial. <laughs> this is some serious, crucial stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, I love, uh, you know, see, I, I trust in all my, man. I want, first, uh, secondly, I wanted to apologize for yesterday if I may. Uh, if I interrupted your your program, I'm sorry. I apologize, man. You know I always got something to say. <laughs> you know how you know how me and you do. I just I got that little bitty famous mute button, so it's okay. You know, I know we get excited. Everybody get excited, you know. So I, sometimes I have to push the mute button, but it ain't no harm. You know, I feel love. You ain't no problem. You know. Okay. You know I how we. I appreciate yes, that. I my do. son was, uh, my, yeah, my, my my son, my baby boy, you understand, he's been feeling kind of depressed. You know, he had an accident, you know, you understand, and, <clears throat> and he's not able to do anything, you understand, uh -huh. he's got, you understand, you know, and I wanted to tell him, and I hadn't gotten an opportunity to tell him is that, just hold on, man, you understand what I'm saying? Things ain't going to happen until he stop. you know, until he Sign, he gets signed off the the the, uh, the the his physical program. You know, then once they sign him off, then then things will be all right. But well, he's been depressed and stuff. You know, he don't sound depressed. Uh, but what he says on on Facebook, <laughs> there, you know, he don't tell me that he's depressed. He says things on Facebook. You understand? That gives me the the impression that he's uh, uh, depressed. You understand? But um, I told him, just hold on, man. The Almighty coming to get it. You know, he's gonna fix you, gonna fix your situation. You understand? Anyway, that's the problem he, that I'm dealing with. Real, you know what it is? I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's so hard for our kids to live up to what they see on television. Yeah. You know, they 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 give them this false image on television. That life is always fun and it's always happy and we always got something to do and we always got a whole lot of money and let's party all the time and that's just not life. 
And you are absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct, man. My, years ago, my daughter said, I ain't having no fun. <laughs> like, she pull that party every day. <laughs> that's what they play on TV, a fun, happy, glamorous, long nails, long hair. We're about to have a ball. Let's just party all the time. It's gonna, you're gonna have plenty of money, and we're just gonna be able to party. But and the thing about it is, and I, I'm so glad you brought this up because I've been wanting to say this for a long time. To all of our young people, and all of our kids, and all of our family members here, the Bible says, and it rings true because we are witnesses to it that there is no new thing under the sun. Absolutely. The devil ain't changed. The party ain't changed. Only thing changed was the people. That is correct. We did the same thing you all are trying to do, and we was duped the same way you being duped. And eventually you have to come to the conclusion that life is just life. And, and we had to realize that what we was doing, we was living in a fantasy. We were living in a fantasy. And you're absolutely correct, sister. I'm going to give you a prime example. It's me. Because I went down to the club the first time and was having such a good time. You understand? I never left the club. <laughs> right. I wanted to be happy every day, man. I'm telling you, it was a ball. I had a good time. You understand? And so I wanted to have, I, I thought that was an everyday occurrence, man. You understand? You know, so I understand perfectly. It's a same. It's a, it's repetitious. You understand? You know, we think that it's going to be party all the time. It ain't no such thing, man. You understand? We got to go to work. You understand? You got to get busy. You got you got to make your enjoyment as life goes on. You understand? You know, <clears throat> and don't expect it to happen every day. Hallelujah. Every day, and that's the problem. You know, we you, they watch TV and they see these big old houses and they go buy a house and nothing wrong with that. They go buy the cars and ain't nothing wrong with that, but you got to have a job. To, uh, if you don't have a trust fund sitting somewhere, then you need a job. That is correct. Or you need to start your own business. And either way it goes, you're going to be working eight hours a day, sometimes longer, to be able to pay for the that you follow. That, it's just simple as that. It's just that, that is simple. Correct. And I think that is that's hard for them to accept until they get a little older and realize this is real life. This is not fantasy. And and I thought about, I want to say this too. I'm going to put this on the record. All these young girls out here getting these booty implants huh. and breast implants and breaking your rib to make your waist tiny. You guys going to mm. stop doing it because when we leave, it ain't going to be nobody in the wilderness to take that mess out. That is correct. You know, I remember years and years and years ago, you, do you do you know Phyllis Diller? Yeah, I remember Phyllis Diller. Yeah, I sure do. She, she used to have all of these uh, facial implants and all of that, man, and... and and uh, see, as she got over, she started looking real horrible, boy. <laughs> you know, and I could see that those those um and the same thing I think it happened with Nancy Pelosi. Why she looked so ugly? Her face done got wrinkled all up, man. You know, to the point, you know, she looked like a a a, a wrinkled up poon. You understand in her face because of all of those uh, um, facial implants and all of that stuff, man. So we see nobody looks at the future; they just look at now. Oh, it's gorgeous! I'm fine. I look fabulous. You understand what I'm saying? But that stuff, just like all of those guys, man, lift all of them weights. You understand? And and they got buffed up and this and that and the other. You understand? They stopped lifting them weights, man. They look that the, the, all of that stuff turned to flab. Oh, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you understand? So. They, they want to look at, you know, how they look right now, but it's not how you look right now. It's what's going to happen later on when, you know, when you don't have have the, the you don't feel like going to the gym, you know, and, and when you go, and that turns into, you know, you don't feel like going to the gym today, but that turns into months. I ain't going to the gym these months, you understand, and, 
and all of a sudden your stomach can start getting flat and flabby. Oh man, it's just a horrible sight. You know what I'm saying? So we think that it, we we only look at what's going on in our life at that moment. Yeah. Well, one thing about Nancy Pelosi is Nancy Pelosi is 80 years old. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and I, for 80 year old woman, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't. You, Stop father time. It ain't nothing you're gonna be able to do to stop that. You can't do nothing about it. It ain't. And at some point in your age, it should be like whatever, you know. Cause 80 years old. Is, if you get around at 80 years old, that is a blessing. I mean, seriously. Yeah, yeah well, it's I a know. blessing by the Almighty if you live a day, another day, especially in this mm-hmm. society. You know what I'm saying? But, but uh, she would look a little bit better if she had not used the, all of those. Uh, uh, um, implants in her face. You understand? And the guys that 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 doing all of that buff work, man, there's a there's a limit. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that all the time and expect you and then stop. You understand? That's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a toll on your body. You understand? If you got out and go and did some physical work, you understand? And that was you know that was. That was your that was your job that you know you physically inclined to do work like that. Then you can build up you your body will will uh, will develop. You understand over a period of time. You understand, but if you just going to build up certain areas and oh shit, <laughs> and then well, and then don't go back to I go ahead. Some, some I was just saying to the girls that's that's getting these butt implants, please don't uh, do that. Oh, yeah. That's not good at all. I mean, you know, but the thing about it is, is, is again, Israel always copies off of what they see everybody else doing. And right now, this is a big fad. All of the young girls that can afford to do it, they flying to Miami to do it. They flying over to some of these other countries, Mexico and different places, and they letting these doctors implant stuff into their behinds to make their behinds bigger. And one thing about that is, Dangerous as long as you, I'm, please don't do that. I mean, because what's going to happen when you come out with something else? You're going to do that to your body? The, let me read the scripture where the Most High said, you're going to pay for the deeds that is done in the flesh. You're going to pay for it. Okay. That's it. I mean, and it don't look all that good no way to me. <laughs> it looks it look artificial. <laughs> it do. It do. Yeah. So I understand, but I, you know, and if you just be happy in your skin, be happy in the skin that you're in. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely, no question about that. You know, for we, you know, it says, and, and, and this is New Testament, I'm, but I'm gonna read it to them anyway, so they know. For you all who don't believe that it don't apply, it says, for we must all appear. This is Second Corinthians. Chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that which he have done, whether it be good or bad. So this body belongs to the Most High Yah, and if you do things to destroy it, you're going to be judged for that. This is his body. He made all of us. And all this stuff you're doing to your body, you better stop it. And they, ain't nobody telling them, ain't nobody saying nothing to them. They just doing whatever they want to do, and they doing however they want to do. And it's like, no, we cannot, we are not supposed. It's just like tattoos. Everybody got tattoos now. Me and Ooh, everybody. So, uh, that's ugly as I don't know what. I'm telling you, boy, I just don't get it. it I, I don't understand why you think the tattoos look good. On your body. I don't get that. <laughs> what makes you think that looks good? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Huh? It says, what does the Bible say about tattoos? Leviticus 19 and 28. We might well go on and go there because it's in there too. All of it is in there. You know, you got to be real careful with what you do. It says, you, sh- you shall not. This is to Israel now. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. The Most High don't want us walking around with no marks printed upon us. He said, nor print 
any mark right. upon you. So we ain't supposed to walk around with tattoos on. Mm. I don't know I what am. makes you. I don't know what you make makes you think you look so good anyway, with tattoos. I don't get that. You understand? The only thing that we supposed to have uh, uh, is ZC that's going to represent our connection with our creator. That's all. We ain't supposed to have all, no, um, now, uh, 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 everybody is walking, got those, uh, what they call those things, uh, uh, menorah? No, not the menorah. I mean, if we were supposed to do that, the menorah would be fine. But they don't have, they talking about the star of David. No way in the scriptures. Did, in, now, we read the scriptures all the time, from one year to the next. You understand? And have you seen where there was a star of David? No. Mm -mm. But they got that, you know, that's that Jewish stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. They got everybody going around wearing uh, uh, the five-pointed star. You understand? And I tried to explain it to my brothers and sisters, my, my nephews. You understand? Who grow up in this way. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, it is. It says it. And this and that. Man, it, they can't, they, you can't find it in the scripture. Not, not in the Old Testament, period. Huh? Not in the New either. Not that in the New know, either. They, you, know, they, you know, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. You understand? And I'm telling you, see, this is, a, this is what we talked about this the other day when he was talking about us being faithful to the Almighty, you understand, and his laws, and how we get chosen to be part of the Almighty's laws, statutes, and commandments, is that we have to be loyal to the laws, statutes, and ordinances, and commandments. You yeah. understand? You know, so when you talk about, when they're talking about uh, 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 um, uh, uh, putting the star of David on your body, you understand, only thing that you're supposed to wear is the zeces on your garment, nothing else. Oh, and it does mention, but I really think that this is Jewish also, uh, 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 having uh, 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 something it, it, that, that's supposed to be up on your forehead. You know what I'm You see them, them Jewish guys with them boxes on their forehead? <laughs> I think that's Jewish, but I see a lot of brothers and sisters with that. I don't think that we're supposed to have anything but the VCs. Yeah, so I mean, you know, it's just unfortunate. Like I said, and you can't tell them nothing because they know everything. You you all think that this is new. Ain't there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new. It's the same thing. It's just maybe you may know about a different name. But it's the same stuff. The devil don't change. His ways are still the same. And he does it the same way. Absolutely. Does Absolutely. it the same way. And then we end up thinking that it's something new and you're doing something. Leave your body alone. You were made. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You ain't supposed to look like the next girl. You got the stuff that was, that was genetically coded to you. That's what you have. It's not going to change one way or the other. If you, if you put that in your body, it, let me say, tell these girls something. It's a, it's a billion women on this earth or more. On this earth, all colors, shapes, and sizes. We all got the same thing. Some got big, some got little. It's not going to change anything one way or the other with what you do to yourself. Stop damaging your body. And Stop making these I, people rich, uh, paying these people thousands of dollars, five and six thousand dollars to do breast implants, uh, five and six thousand dollars to do butt implants. Stop giving this money to these people to damage your body because you're going to pay for what's done in the body, to the body. You're going to pay for it. You better stop. Right. I agree. Uh, yeah. uh, this is a sad situation, man. I can't. I don't get how they can put all them tattoos on your body, and they and they paying good money for that, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they got uh, uh, one arm Go full of tattoos, and and all across your. Oh man, it's just uh, it, it don't look good. 
I'm telling you, man. Okay. If you think it looks good, you understand? Go ahead, do your thing. Let's see what your end be. <laughs> yeah. That's Leviticus 19.28. He said, nor print any marks upon you. You is not supposed to print no marks. Leviticus 19.28 tells you don't print no marks upon your body. It's not in representation of, of the Almighty nowhere. You understand? You know, they they, they putting all kinds of stuff on their body, but it's not. Uh, what does it represent? Nothing. I'm telling you. Yeah. The only it's thing bad. that I know that you're supposed to do is ZTs. And that's to represent the Almighty, the, uh, you know, that's it. Nothing else. Oh, yeah. It's a sad day. I'm telling. It's a sad day. But like I said, somebody ain't nobody else talking out against it anymore. They're not saying anything anymore. And you know what? Our children are just going to be wasted if somebody don't stop them and tell them to stop. It's time to stop all this. Because the plan for Yah is to deliver His children out of these lands where we have been scattered. That is the next big thing to happen. And, and you go to the wilderness, and then you got all this silicone in your breast. You got mm. all this fat that's been pumped into your behind. Some people, even they said they pumping, the, the way they're doing it now, they putting something in it where the girls got to do squats. If not, it's going to harden up like a brick. You're putting all mm. this stuff in your body, and you're not going to make it. Mm -hmm. That is correct. That is correct. Yes, they, and and the problem is is that they don't have any any um anybody any man or woman trying to explain things to them that that's not right that's not good. You know what I'm Most of them doing it off the, off of their own are uh, going off on their own thinking, and that's not a yeah. good thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't even they don't even get they don't even try to get uh, uh somebody to ask them. Well, you think I should get breast implants? Do you think I should get butt implants? You understand? You know, uh, you know they don't have. They're, they're not asking no questions. They're just doing it because they think it looks good and it looks artificial. I'm telling you, man. It do. It does. Yeah. It do, it really does. And black women didn't even used to do plastic surgery. We didn't used to do it because for one, it was too expensive for any of us to afford. And now they may be, please stop doing this stuff. Please stop doing this stuff. Well, they, you know, see, we went against the, the almighty law anyway. Uh, years ago, they was putting conk, conk in their head. That's what they called it years ago. You understand? Uh, but uh, uh, black, black men was <clears throat> down there during the time of Malcolm X. He had his hair all slicked back and, and what's the name. That wasn't a good thing, too, because if you didn't know how to do it, it will burn your head, you understand, and burn your hair out, you understand. But I never did that, man. I watched them guys do that, man, and I said, I ain't doing that, man. <laughs> and I, I see them, you understand, rushing, trying to get some water on that thing and patting their head, beating their head all up because it was burning. I said, I'm not doing that. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> There. But they, right, but they you know, go ahead. No, I said absolutely. I'm agreeing with you 100%. Yeah. So I said, I'm not doing nothing like that, man, you know. And and um, after years and years and go, years and years and years pass, you understand, them guys are bald-headed. Uh, well, I'm losing my hair uh, anyway, you know, but but they, they're, they're, using, they're losing their hair because of early. You understand because they put that stuff in their hair and it burned out the membranes of the of the hair. You understand? Oh, oh, man. Just a horrible situation, man. You know, we ain't supposed to do what we're not supposed to do is take on the ways of the other nation, and that's what we did. And then see, we see we only we the only people that take it too far. <laughs> do, do we really do? Hold on, I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. Check this out. My name is April, and I'm 47 years old. I was teased about having a flat butt, and I kind of started my mental quest for a larger butt. At 38, a woman who wasn't a doctor,
doctor said that she did blood injection. A week later, I found myself laying on her daughter's bed, having the silicone injected into my body. I didn't do any research on the silicone that was injected in my body, nor did I do any research on this woman. A year later after the injection, my butt started to get hard, started being colored, and then it started itching, and then extremely painful. The second year, I went to numerous doctors to have the silicone removed, but they would have had to remove my butt cheek, and nobody wanted to do that. By the fourth year, I was in excruciating pain. I went to the hospital. One of the nurses put some cream on my butt cheek. I ended up eating a hole through my right butt cheek. And two months later, I ended up contracting a staph infection. I was rushed to the hospital. They gave me 24 hours to live, put me in an, an induced coma, and they put me on a medication that would help to increase my blood pressure. That medication caused gangrene to my extremities. Once I came out of the home, I could see that my hands and my feet were necrotic. I knew that I was going to have to lose my hands and my feet. And I was just devastated. My hands and my feet, they would never come back. That's over for me. But at least I can use this to help share with someone else so that they would never have to experience anything like this, especially in the name of a butt. We're joined by April, who is so resilient, and board-certified plastic surgeon and butt implant specialist, Dr. Mendieta. And April, you wanted a bigger butt. I had already had this issue about the butt since I was like seven years old. I had already, you know, my, my sister had a larger butt, and the boys kind of liked her because she had a larger right. butt. And so I kind of bowed in my mind that when I get older, I'm going to get me some butt. Sure. Even though I didn't know it was possible to do that, but yeah. I thought that. A young lady came into my salon and said she did butt injections. And she had this woman with her who had, I mean, her butt was done well. Sure. And I was like, oh, my God, thank you, Jesus. I wanted that. God sent you to me. Yeah. It was like that. It sure. wasn't even like, uh, oh, I, I shouldn't do this. I felt like it was a blessing. Sure. Like, honestly, I really did. So you believed the hype, so to speak. I do want to clarify for everyone how one thing led to another. You had these injections mm -hmm. performed later developed a severe infection in that area, got into your bloodstream, mm -hmm. with the severe bloodstream infection, led to sepsis, and that's where you have no blood pressure, your limbs get no blood supply, that's why you've lost your arms and your legs. And my butt cheeks. And your butt cheeks. I want you to leave that out. So there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to right, do this, right, gentlemen? You know what, the biggest issue that we have... Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm I'm getting ready to play it back again, but can you imagine? Did, did, did you hear him say there's a right way and there's a wrong way? Oh <laughs> Ain't no my. right way and wrong way. That stuff always turn out wrong. Oh my goodness. She lost her but she lost if you can see her on YouTube, she lost her hands. Uh, she has her, her arms go down to the middle of her, her her arms where her hands are, they're gone. She lost her her legs. She has artificial legs. Oh my goodness! And she lost her butt cheeks. And crap! Hold on, I gotta play it again. Hold on. I mean, I'm gonna let Fanatic play. Here we go. Is that there's no control of what's being injected. You're being told one thing, and something completely different is happening. And not only that, but let's say that they are using a silicone. There is no medical-grade silicone, first of all, but there are degrees of silicone impurity. So people will buy this at Home Depot. They can buy it at any hardware store. You can go online and purchase these things. They'll send you the syringes, non-sterile, to inject. And the problem that's happening is we don't know the purity of it. There is no governing body that's going to tell you these are the standards for what you need to inject. So hopefully no one here watching will ever get this done. But for those of you out there who maybe have, show us you know, what you might find and, and what can, you can do. Let's see. First of all, when you open this up, you never know what you're going to find. So it's, you could find something that's as hard as concrete. I don't know if you can take a look at this. I can't even bring it out. Jesus. But it starts to look like caulking material. 
almost like oh cement. Many times when I take this out, I could throw it on the ground and it'll break the tile. Wow. Um, other times, it can look like this. It's a little bit of a softer substance. It's a lot more gooey. And this is what you call the silicone. But the silicone comes in different grades. Look at that. I mean, it's almost like popping a pimple. But this, you could never get it all out, ever. It's distributed everywhere in the buttock. It's not one location. So if, let's say you had a gluteal implant, and that's why that's the other way of doing this. I can go in there and remove the implant if there's any problems, and problem solved. Here you can't because you, you have it all over the body. Mm. And it migrates. Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> Ooh, that's just too much. Y'all look, our women is doing this. They getting this stuff done. Now they have it where supposedly you can take fat from your stomach, put it into your butt, and it makes your butt bigger. This is what our young women is paying using the income tax returns and stuff to go do. Anybody want to join the conversation, please push one. Yaina, why are you talking about this kind of stuff? Because we need to talk to our young women about this kind of stuff because they're doing it. If you pay attention to these young girls walking up and down the stores and, and Walmart and stuff, all, everybody got a big butt. And it's like, you, that don't even look real. Hold on, Airy Coast, 478, your mic is open. You're on the air. That is just incredible. I mean, really, silicone? I didn't know it was the silicone you buy from Lowe's to put in your butt. I didn't know that. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, big time. I'm telling you. All in trying to attract a man. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what it is. And that's not what a man looking for in the first place. Yep, yeah, that's what they're doing. That is exactly what they're doing and what they're doing to their body. They calling it mommy makeovers. So if you've had babies and your 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 breasts are sagging or, or your butt's not big enough, they they will charge you uh, um uh, uh uh thousands of dollars to do a mommy makeover. And uh, listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is crazy. It is. It really is. That's exactly what they're doing. That is exactly yeah. what they're doing. Like, wow. And this is what they're putting in their bodies. And they're making our mm. women feel like they're inadequate because they don't have these things automatically in their bodies. Well, they see, the thing is, is that they don't have a mother or father that can tell them any different. You understand, or you understand. See, when you know, uh, uh, you know, the, your children they grow up in your household. You understand, and they become, you know, and if you bring them up in the way that they should go, you understand, you're not gonna have no problem. But if you're not gonna tell them anything about what they need to do, no eating in your room. You understand, or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, all the eating is being done at the table. You understand? No eating all over the place. You understand? Don't leave no lights on. You got to be able to have parents that's going to put that, you know, try to tell you something, man. You understand? But if you got parents, man, that's doing the same thing you're doing, <laughs> you ain't going to you. Yeah, I mean, it's a sad day, man. We, You know, it's really going to be a messed up situation, man, as, as yeah, you get they, older. They're going to rot from the inside out because they're doing things to the body. My grandmother said that before she left this earth. She said these people going to rot from the inside out with the things that they're doing to their bodies. And it's the truth. It yeah. is the truth. Because what they don't understand is that cell, the way the body, the body is fearfully and wonderfully made. And the way that yeah. we have cell regeneration is the cells die off and new cells are created. And there's a code to this human body that those cells know my code is to generate new cells for the butt. My code is to generate new cells for the breast. My code is to generate new cells for whatever part of the body. And when you introduce something foreign in there, that has to do no. something to them. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ooh, we. And it's not, and, you know, I mean, you got to understand that stuff looks, looks, looks artificial. It don't look good at all. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got you got big old butt, 
and little narrow legs. <laughs> they sure do, Brother Donny. I was like, Lord Jesus. Hold on, I got to play one more. Here we go. Check this one out. Here we go. Um, has gained fame on Instagram for departing from her glamorous look to rant about everything and anything in her hilarious bonnet chronicles. Let's have a look. Am I the only one who has that one friend who thinks that everybody's hating on her? And you know when that phone rings and her name comes across that call ID, you be like, you know, it's about to be an hour-long conversation about who don't like her, who's talking about her. I mean, you want to tell us something bad, ain't nobody talking about you, ain't nobody thinking about you. You ever met a real smart, dumb You know, somebody that knows all the words in the dictionary, but then you know, you know a thing when it comes to common sense. Hey girl, can you give me directions to the mall? And they be like, I don't know the street names, I just know how to get there. I'm showing out at funerals. I mean, you ain't seen Maybelline in 10 years, and now you want to get in the casket. And we all know that Maybelline didn't even like you like that. So what's this really all about? Because you're slowing down the procession. Please welcome the star of Basketball Wives LA, Tammy Roman, to the show. So, Tammy, I've heard about some of your wonderful rants, but before we uh -oh. get there, so you wear, <clears throat> what are those things called? Bonnet. So, I don't know if this fits oh, the bill, but we have a special yay. bonnet for it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Thank you so much. I would put it on, but I'm giving you a little Mary J. Blige today. It looks so great. great. I don't want to mess yeah. it up. <laughs> so, you know, I'll put it on. Okay. You there it is. I want to wear it. Yeah. All right. Sexy. It looks so I'm, not, so I'm not going to be rant. <laughs> but but let's, talk, let's talk about some things that I know you like to rant about. And with all due respect, Dr. Orton, I'm going to let you rant on plastic surgery. It's okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Something happened. Wait a minute, y'all. Something just happened. Give me a minute. Something just went on with my computer. Why? I don't know, but we almost there. Let me get it back on. It just went down. But anyway, um, talk, getting back to what we were talking about, they're still talking about butt implants. And she's going to tell you why she regretted getting the injection in her system. It's not what everybody thinks it is. It just it isn't. You know, and nothing's uh, like the real thing, no matter how much you do. That's from false teeth to implant teeth to anything you have to put in there, and nothing is like the real thing. I don't care what they do. They cannot make it feel like or look like the real thing. They can get close, but it ain't nothing like the real thing. You're absolutely and, correct. I got false teeth, and it's worse than having a wooden leg. <laughs> I'm For telling real, you. real talk, I mean, we just got to be right honest. It is nothing like the real thing at all whatsoever. Nothing. Absolutely. Worse than having like, a wooden leg. Well, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so I, I, tell, I tell everybody, take care of your teeth, take care of your body, because anything you have to use that man has created as a substitute, it is nothing like it. I don't care what nobody say. I, you know, I tell y'all all the time, I say, y'all do the math, man. I got false teeth, um, eye glasses, you understand, hearing aid, all, all of that stuff, man, is artificial, and it's not, and it, 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 it doesn't take the, it doesn't take the place of having the original. I'm going to tell you that right now, you understand. False right, teeth, eye glasses, you understand what I'm saying? You know, you got to try to take care of yourself, man, you know, in these days, especially these days. Especially. Hold on. Here we go. I got it playing. Here we go. Rant on plastic surgery. It's okay. Oh, Bring it on. my goodness. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm fine with plastic surgery. I just wish people wouldn't lie about it. You know, they want us to all think that it's real. You know what I mean? Oh, so, oh, listen. Yeah. It's like you're standing in front of us with Malaysian hair, Korean, Korean nails, a Colombian set of... A Brazilian <laughs> butt, you know, and you want to think it's all natural. Diverse. That's well, diverse they, they look like a We Are the World Day <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, there it is. <laughs> now, oh. in your own world, 
Any regrets when it comes to cosmetic? It's the whole fake booty thing. Like, I got the booty injections, you okay. know, and I hate it. I the just want to... butt the, lift type Well, thing. not the butt lift. This is straight injections, straight your, in there. Of your own fat. Right. I thought it would do some right. good. I thought okay, I Okay, now this one is different, you guys, because it's her own fat. It's not silicone. They took fat out of her stomach and put it from, from somewhere in her body and put it in her butt. Now watch what happens. Was pumping it. Now I just want to dump it. You know what I mean? <laughs> my God, only person is feeling my butt right now going, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Listen, you don't want to do it. And, okay. and I don't think women Dark. actually want to do it. They think it's cool, but I actually broke an elevator yesterday. I was stuck in an elevator. Had Whoa. maximum capacity five people with me, my boyfriend, and my ass. <laughs> This is a great reflection, Tammy. You obviously, you have a lot of fun. You go on rants, but you also deal with real-life situations yes. just like the rest of us. Tammy has been very open about her struggle with fertility on Basketball Wise. Yeah, she said she didn't want to do it. They took fat out of her body and put it in her behind, and she wished she hadn't have done it because there's nothing like the real thing. It's just not. And you stuck with it once they do it. You are stuck with it. You know, so it is very important that we understand this kind of stuff. You know, and everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to be glamorous. Everybody want to be a movie star. And everybody is looking fake from the drawed on eyebrows to the Brazilian hair hanging down to your butt to the, fault, the face fake breasts to the fake booties and it's like okay what's real on you what's real because i can i most men don't even like that kind of stuff to be honest am i wrong guys i mean is that what you're looking for because it seems like everything on them is fake no that is not what we're looking for it's incredible it's like why would you do that to yourself But that's what they're doing. Because they think it looks cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is incredible. So, I mean, you know, this is what they're dealing with on top of everything else. They're dealing with this, these, these implants and stuff. And like I said, when we go to, when we leave here, there's not going to be anybody in there to help you. Uh, 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 take, when we go where we're going, it's not going to be nobody to help you do what you need to do. It's, it's not going to be nobody. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's just not. Mm, yep. Mm -mm. Yep. Sad situation that we're under. If we don't get out of, if we don't get out of this here soon, it's going to eat up everybody. It might not be nobody left. I'm serious. It really might, especially of these young people. They, they just, I don't know. There's some of this stuff, like he said, now they have the type of implants where you can get actual implants put in there, and they can just pull those out. But who want to do that? <laughs> I just, I don't even know what to say. Anybody else, let me see. Anybody else want to push one? Or, or anything, uh, want to push one, I got to fix my computer because it just cut off on me. That was real weird, but nevertheless, it's just weird. <laughs> it is truly weird to see that kind of stuff happening. Weird. But this is what they're doing. This is what they're talking about doing. And you can't tell them different. This is what they're talking about. Area code 720, your mic is open. You're on the air. No, oh, I was listening to that. It's just, it makes me cringe to think of what people would do to fit the illusion that we're seeing on TV and with the housewife shows and, and various uh, uh, reality shows. We're just buying this fictitious, fake, satanic, heathen type of, uh, uh, of culture. And I think it's time for the most high people to give Babylon their stuff back to them. They got to give it back to them so we don't want it. We want what the Most High has given us, and we'll be happy with what he's given us. Uh, not only that, it's that 
but some of these things don't even manifest as far as the side effects until a year later. So, you know, just because you may think it's in now and then it's popular, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's time for us to give these people back their Babylon practices. Hallelujah. I understand. That's perfect. That is incredible, the things that they have, like you said, the Babylonian culture, which is look at me, look at me, I'm beautiful, look at me, it's all about me, 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 and, and everybody's feeling it from the plastic surgeon doctor to, to all the other people involved in it to the one you get done, the one that does it to you in their kitchen on the kitchen table. Everybody is fueling your desire to be to look at me, and you paying these people to do something to you that's not supposed to be done, and they, and they don't care. You're making these people rich, and they're doing whatever you want them to do, and it's gonna end up falling backwards on you after a while. It is not worth it. No, it's not worth it. It's just not worth and it. And they look like Stepford monsters. They don't even look natural anymore when you see them. Uh, I, sure. I thought. I saw a commercial with one of the uh, K sisters on there, and, and she looked like like a fictitious monster. It was just she didn't even look real. It's, I know, it's, it's I know, they know. It is. They look like, and some of them are making themselves try to look like a Barbie. They want to look like a Barbie doll, and it's like really. I mean, you wonder where people's minds are. But the, but the Bible tells you in the last days men are going to become lovers of themselves more than lovers mm. of y'all. And that's what we are looking at today. They, All right. have, they have fear. They don't. You, you're absolutely correct. They have no fear. Everybody got butt implants from, from the Caucasian girl to the to the Asian girl to the black girl. Everybody got butt implants. And it's like, man... If that stuff to, uh, decides to turn in on you, it is over. It's over. And it's got to go somewhere. So it's going to go into the bloodstream, and, and you don't know if it's going to wreak havoc, or you just don't know. And so, it, I mean, it, when you talk about silicone, that's, that's scary stuff to put in your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but everybody is so vain. Everybody is just vain. It's like I've got to be beautiful no matter what. They're not even taking care of their kids. They're they, they changing the color of their eyes. They're, they're, they're changing. It's just it, like you said, they look artificial. Mm -hmm. It says this doctor was jailed for, for injecting cement in somebody's butt. Cement! Mm -hmm. That's so, so, so ridiculous. I'm telling tell you, boy. Amen. You, know you, you know, what's so funny is that you, you, grow, you grow up with a kid that did sometimes, sometimes you see their children, your children, and they they born with hazel eyes or whatever eyes. They're born with this. You understand? Mm -hmm. And another child got the brown, regular brown eyes. You understand? Mm -hmm. The one with hazel eyes, she gets looked at from all the guys. All the boys is looking at her. You understand? So the one with the gets regular brown eyes, you understand? She goes and gets some uh, uh, some eyes. You know, I don't know what they call them, man, but they now her eyes is hazel. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You understand? You know, just because. You understand? Now she got she just she looked just like the other kids. She's just as cute as the rest of them, but she done changed her eyes. She got uh, put these other eyes in. I said, man, that's not going to work, man. That's you, man. <laughs> you understand? What's going to happen, you understand, later on? You understand? Later on, it might look good now. Then you you, you the one that brought it up, man, about them kids with them long fingernails. You understand? Those are, those are uh, artificial then you know that they are artificial because they be long and they be curled. You know, mm -hmm. you know who had long fingernails? Um, the Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, hers but were original. Yeah. yeah, hers was original. Yeah, but hold on. I got you. I want you to listen to some more. We're going to get some more on record. Hold on. Just give me one second. I'm going to get some more up here because we're going to put this on the record because when you think about it, think again. Regret. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's what 35-year-old Courtney Barnes, a.k.a. Ms. Miami, may be feeling after having six illegal injections that gave her a 60-inch butt. The one-time exotic dancer thought a larger derriere was her ticket to success. However, faced with possible medical complications from the shot, she discovered it was anything but. Right now, I am healthy, but I can't find any peace in that because most of the doctors are saying it's just a matter of time until I have serious health issues. One of those doctors is board-certified plastic surgeon Constantino Mendieta. These products will not react in the body until about 7 to 10 years after it's been injected. And you start to get chronic inflammatory reactions, infections. Uh, it gets to a point where life is just miserable because you're in the emergency room all the time. That's information Courtney wishes she had when at 22, she started dancing at a strip club. The dancer walked up to me and she told me that Although I was a pretty girl, if I wanted to make money in the club, I needed a bigger butt. So taking a referral from the dancer, Courtney set up an appointment for the first of six butt injections, this one at a hotel. The person who injected me told me that she was a, a medical assistant who worked at a cosmetic office in Miami. Dr. Mendieta hmm. says everything that happened in that first appointment raises major red flags. Hmm. The problem is that we have no clue what's being injected. They'll tell you it's one thing, and they'll tell you it's absorbable, and they're injecting something that's completely permanent, that's not medical, and you don't know who's injecting it. They can look the part, but don't go by that. Courtney says she's still not sure exactly what she was injected with. Black market shots can contain anything from cooking oils to store-bought silicone and even cement. And although Courtney doesn't suffer from any pain right now... My butt is discolored. My butt sags more. With nearly 900,000 Instagram followers, Courtney's large backside helped make her a social media star. But she says all she really wants now is to get whatever was injected into her out. Something that won't be all that easy. So in Courtney's case, if she's starting to have a little bit of symptoms, people may be afraid to touch it because you could activate things and make it a lot worse. Once you start having medical issues that are serious, what you've got to do then is you've got to go in there and you've got to do surgery. And it can be very, very disfiguring surgery. And there's sometimes very little we can do to reconstruct it. The surgery is not only expensive. In Courtney's case, removal and reconstruction would require multiple operations. Each removal is well over $20,000. They have to open me up before they could tell me how many surgeries I need. Dr. Mendieta yeah. says the bottom line is always go to a board-certified plastic surgeon if you are considering plumping up your posterior. And to get a backside like Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, or Beyonce, it's always best to have it injected with your own body fat. But even then, there are always risks. But anything could happen, even if you're going to a board-certified surgeon, but at least you're with a professional that knows how to treat things that they have. As for Courtney... I'm just trying to be comfortable in my skin right now. Knowing it could be worse, it makes me a bit more grateful, but I still don't like the option. Courtney has written a book about her experience. I am not my body, but I wanted a bigger butt. And it's available up now. All right. There, Nothing there you but... go. What y'all got to say about that one? Here it is. We don't got me. Beyonce got, got Beyonce got Beyonce got implants. Probably not. No, they were saying if you wanted one like her, or if you wanted oh. to look like her, that this is what you know. Uh, uh, oh. This is what you need to get. But I mean, all of it is just like it's just and off I said the chain. And, and we got to do this kind of stuff, y'all. This is a different show than we normally do. But we got to do this because our girls are killing themselves. They are really yep. killing themselves trying to look like the, uh, the other people in the world. And it's like, no, you can't. No, no. He, like he said, you may not feel nothing now, but 7 to 10 years down the line, and you might be 25 now, but then you get 35 and then you start being sick. You don't want to be sick at 35. That's the problem of your life. That is correct. Absolutely. It's some sad stuff. I'm telling you, some scary stuff going on out here now. And like you said, they end up looking like monsters. 
Okay, so it's compressing your sciatic mm. nerve. Yeah. That's the main nerve. Call me the lower leg. Mm. Ouch. Mm. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Horror stories. Ooh, and that sciatic nerve is nothing to mess with. I've had a sciatic nerve <laughs> attack, and I, that's some of the worst pain you can ever have. Uh, other than having a baby, that is the worst pain I have ever experienced. Okay. I twisted my sciatic nerve. I have never felt a pain like that before in my. And I tried to go to work, and I, I just couldn't sit there. I told the, my my boss, I gotta go, cause I'm in too much pain. I've never been in that kind of pain except for childbirth. Yeah. No, it can be wor It can be worse than childbirth. I mean, it can get to the point that you cannot move. You cannot even get out of bed. It can be that bad. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. This is what we're doing to their bodies. This is what we have to contend with on top of everything else. Because everybody wants to be glamorous. Everybody wants to be a showstopper. Men and women are doing this, you guys. It's not just the girls. Men and women are doing stuff to their bodies. Everybody thinks that the way you look t t determines what type of person you are. I've heard it from the pulpit to the door. Young people, young men and women that are considered themselves to be pastors and prophets are over the pulpit calling people fat, calling people ugly, calling people because they are really concerned with the outside appearance and the way they look. Men have uh, become lovers of themselves more than lovers of y'all. We here now. We here now. The days of Noah, as in the days of Noah, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everything. You women can't even be mothers for trying to be glamorous. They are not even training their children. They so busy trying to be glamorous. Men can't be fathers because they 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 busy trying to look a certain way and to perceive themselves as a certain way. I, you know, it's it, it, y'all gotta come and get us. They they he really. This is gonna get uglier and uglier and uglier and uglier. They already walking around with no clothes on, very little clothes on. Men that is correct. About that today. They selling stuff. They only crisscross and cover certain areas, and it, they just—it's just a win. It's, it's there. That is correct. Yeah, our children and grandchildren can't even watch TV anymore. The no. with filth is horrible. Yes, it really is. It, it, we are—we are definitely—we have arrived to a new era and a new day. And you know what? We thought it was bad before. But we really didn't realize how bad it was get, it was getting because this this world that we're in has just taken it to a whole nother level. It's a whole you nother have to level. Use mm -hmm. <laughs> and nobody's speaking out against it either. Oh no, man, they making money. You understand? The doctor ain't gonna tell you, you understand? That the that the that the medication ain't working. <laughs> they just want you to keep buying it. Yeah, it's a, it's some serious stuff jumping off. I'm telling you. It, they don't care serious. nothing about that. As long as they getting that, they got that summer home. You understand? They got to be paid for. You understand? Them four five cars. You understand that Mercedes Benz. Come on, man. They ain't going to tell you that it's, it's not good to do that. They don't have nobody. As a matter of fact, you, they might shoot you if you tell them that they ain't no good. <laughs> you know what? I want I say this because I wanted you to hear what this Caucasian pastor has to say. I want you no. to hear what he has to say about America. I want you to hear this. I saved this the other day because I said, I got to play this. Hold on. I want you to hear just for, it's only a few clips, a few seconds, but listen at what he says. Guys, if you joined a church, you connected with other people, and you, you were socially acceptable, and you were religious, and you believed in God, and that was good, like the founders of America believed. They didn't believe in the God of the Bible, but they believed they couldn't keep people moral if there wasn't some divine threat. Uh-oh, wait a minute, did you hear that? He said the founders of America didn't believe in the God of the Bible. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Okay. I'll I say this again. I want you to hear this. Pay attention now. Here we go. Watch. 
if you joined a church, oh. you could be hired somewhere because you were one of the good guys. If you joined a church, you connected with other people and you were socially acceptable and you were religious and you believed in God and that was good, like the founders of America believed. They didn't believe in the God of the Bible, but they believed they couldn't keep people moral if there wasn't some divine threat. Got so a play, I got to play it one more again. I'm going to put this on. Y'all understand that? So guess what? When you look at your money and it says, in God we trust, they're not talking about y'all. No, you're right. Stepped on some toes today. Hold on just a minute. Let me back up. I got to do it one more again. Here we go. Some church, because if you joined a church, you'd get a job at the bank. If you joined a church, uh, you could be hired somewhere because you were one of the good guys. If you joined a church, you connected with other people, and you were socially acceptable, and you were religious, and you believed in God, and that was good, like the founders of America believed. They didn't believe in the God of the Bible, but they believed they couldn't keep people moral if there wasn't some divine threat. So they created a God of their own imagining uh, to hold over people's heads. And so there was a, a belief in God, and it was defined primarily by the Bible, so there was a kind of cultural morality that survived a long time in America, and it was showing up in, in elections 20 years ago, 15 years ago. There was still a consensus. Uh, we remember the, the moral majority, the religious right, and they were still able to get people elected, still, still able to have some clout and some power. Let me tell you something gone. Mm. Oh, you heard what he said. <laughs> wow, the truth finally comes out, huh? He said gone. Ain't nobody talking about no repenting. Ain't nobody talking about getting it right. He said we used to have some people that would step up to the plate and at least try to bring some morality into this thing. He said, let me tell you something, gone. He said, ain't no more of that. Let me do that one more time. No, here we go. Why? They created a God of their own imagining uh, to hold over people's heads. And so there was a, a belief in God, and it was defined primarily by the Bible, so there was a kind of cultural morality that survived a long time in America, and it was showing up in, in elections 20 years ago, 15 years ago, there was still a consensus. Uh, we remember the, the moral majority, the religious right, and they were still able to get people elected, still, still able to have some clout and some power. Let me tell you something. Gone. Gone. No more. There is no more cultural Christianity. There is no collective Christian consensus that is going to have any power in this country whatsoever. In fact... The more distinctly Christian we are, the more we will be labeled as extremists, bizarre, alien, homophobic, intolerant, guilty of hate crimes. Cultural Christianity, is, as we know it, that kind of consensus coming from a biblical understanding is gone. It is gone. The people who now vote in America couldn't care less. They couldn't care less about that. People who carry the elections, they don't want anything to do with that. They want to escape the extremism of cultural Christianity, Christianity as they see it. So I think as we go forward. All right, y'all, there you have it. You heard it straight from them. In other words, the God that we, we, we brought on the scene that, that helped to some people to be moral, they don't have any of that anymore. It's a, it's a free-for-all. They don't even want to be associated with it anymore. So if you know it's not y'all that they were dealing with in the first place, whatever it was they created, it's a free-for-all now, y'all. I mean, I mean, guess what? How many times have we been trying to tell these people this stuff? The same stuff. Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. imagine what it's getting ready to be like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! And this is coming from a Gentile. He said, we used to have organizations in place that would at least come up against some of this stuff. There was a resistance against certain moral behavior, certain morals, certain things. Gone. Ain't nobody saying that. Ain't nobody talking about repent no more. You don't hear nobody saying repent. You don't hear nobody saying that. They even used to say that in the church. You better repent. Uh, you don't hear that anymore. You right. No. They used to 
because they were they were introducing the wrong God and not the true God. See, they, so that's true. gradually the the truth came out to what it really was all about, and now they don't even have control of it. Nobody can control they, it. It's far gone now. It's gone. They used to in, in the church, from what I understand, they used to talk against, against homosexuality. They talk to you, but guess what? The thing about that is, and even with that, I'm glad you brought that up. Because there's a big issue going on right now amongst the homosexuals that are outspoken, and they have a valid point. I, I look at it like this. I believe they ain't got no valid fact, point. Hold on, let me, they let don't me have a valid point. Let me say what I have to say. Let me say what I have to say. Homosexual is something you can see. You can see them because you see how they act, you see their mannerism, you see how they talk, you see how they do what they do. But what about the stuff in the other people's closets that you can't see? Because if you if you start, and when I say valid point, what I'm saying is this. If, if they said if you can judge us, and I heard one of the guys on YouTube say, if you can get up in the pool pit and speak on homosexuality, how come you didn't get put out of the church when you got busted cheating on your wife? But that's not having a valid point for homosexuality. That's that's what, that's, all, that's, of it, that's, all of it is sin, Brother Donny. All of it is sin, no matter how you try to slice it. Yeah, but that's, look at look at the Almighty said, and we know that that's sin, but... That doesn't give you the right. That does not make you make it all right because you accuse that brother of uh, of uh, having sex with somebody else's wife or committing adultery. You understand? That does not give you the right to to be homosexual. And I didn't say that. One other That's thing here too is I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What? I didn't say it wasn't wrong. What I'm saying is both of them are punishable by death. If you read Leviticus chapter 20, both of them are punishable with Yah by death. But the point okay, that I'm but making is... Saying... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, the point that I'm making is both of it, all of it is wrong. But because we can see them and we can put our eyes on them, you can't see what another person is sneaking and doing. And Yah knows what every... Everybody got some skeletons in their closet, and everybody doing some stuff. I'm not, I'm not taking up for anybody per se, but when I, I, it just seems like to me that this is the one topic everybody jumps on. But what about the skeletons in our closet? What about the thing, like I said, when you sleep with somebody's wife in Leviticus chapter 20, that's punishable by death. Okay, let me go a step further here. You understand? You can't yes, make man. that an excuse for your behavior. Your behavior not, is your behavior. You can't you can't say, well, what about them? You can that's not that does not apply. I like I said, I think it's all wrong. I'm not justifying any I mean, one one of course other. Uh, look here, uh, of course it's all wrong. You know, you are responsible for what you do, what you say out your mouth, you understand, and what you do. You understand? Just like anybody else. Now uh, uh, some some of the some of the things that we do is punishable by death, uh, you know, and 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 it's visible and it's in your face. You understand? But that does not give you you don't have an excuse. Nobody does. That's a, what I'm saying. To make a point about, uh, 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 well, what about those? You understand? You can't say that. Go ahead. Guess what? If y'all was cut and dry like that, then guess what? We would all be gone. Because I know I done did some things that was wrong. Well, and I, I know I have. I know I have, and it was his mercy that I'm still look here it. today. I know I did. Look here. Look here. You, look here. Look here. you know, when I when I pray to the Almighty, and I, I ask him to spare my life for the things that I have done. You understand? So I can't ask him, uh, you know, I can ask him to spare the life of somebody else's, you know, because I see what they have done or I see what they're about to do or I see where they're, they're headed, you understand? But I am responsible for me, you understand? Absolutely. I can't, uh, you know, uh, uh, even though all of it is wrong, and at some point we got to trust in the Almighty with all our heart and soul, 
we uh, see we got a we got a, a a plight here. Our plight is to go home. You understand? And in order to go home, we got to give we got to uh, 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 make amends for those things that we have done in our lifetime, seen and unseen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I agree with you. Eric code 408, your mic is open, and you on the air. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hello? We good. Good, good, good. It sounded like you guys are on it, you know. You're getting on it right now. Yeah, we trying. I mean, you know, it just is. It just, everybody is responsible for their own actions. Everybody is responsible well, you know, for everybody. Let, let me see. Let me say something. Let me say something about that. Cause since you said you're saying about the responsibility part, yeah, if you're responsible, then you're going to take responsibility for your actions, and you have to examine your feelings in light of truth. Otherwise, you ain't never going to get down to the heart of the matter and do what you do because that's what you do best. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I don't know, yeah. man. We gotta, we gotta, we got, we gotta teach our children the right way, man. We've been doing it the wrong way for way too long, man. It ain't working no more, and so we Absolutely. got to get down on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I- I agree with you 100%, and that's exactly why we're doing what we're doing today, is to be able to let, there, in other words, all of it is sin. And there are things, because I used to be the same way, like, man, that is punishable unto death. And the most I stopped me, he said, I got a whole lot of things punishable unto death. It ain't just that. And I had that's to be correct. like, whoa, and apologize, because, like I said, those are the things that you can see what people are doing, but you can't see the stuff people sneaking around and doing. And them very but, ones that are sneaking around doing the kind of stuff is always the ones that's coming up against them in public because that's the stuff you can see. And really, at the end of the day, you got to get the mold out your own eye because we all got stuff that we have done. Real talk. Okay, it's but see, the wrong. thing is, is that you got to be, you can't, listen, you can't be, you can't negate what you doing by saying, well, what about these people? What about that? No, you you have to be responsible for what you do, seen or unseen. That's true. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with you. But that's what I'm saying. And you can't, you, you can't justify one sin over the other. That's right. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, sin is... Sin is against the Most High, and we can't justify one over the other, or can we condemn one over the other. And I think that that was your point. Exactly, exactly my point. And it's like, you know, you got to clean your own house up, you know, and you got to, you have to let people know what the law is. And then it's up to them once you let them. And that's my thing here. This is my biggest issue here. Is It is our responsibility because we're the Israelites to introduce the world to the Elohim of Israel, to let the world know that this is the Elohim that rules the world. And these laws are the laws that he gave Israel to keep, and that Israel have to keep these laws, uh, and, and, and that the world now is telling the, the, the people of the world, it's okay to do whatever you want to do, as long as you're doing it, and you feel good doing it, do it. And our job is to tell them, no, sir, that is incorrect. We have a responsibility to let you know this is what's going to happen to you if you don't do what he tell you to do. Now, guess what? Once we tell you, our hands is off of it. It's up to you because you're going to have to make your own choice. But you that can't be correct. mean because they chose to do that. You can't hate anybody because they choose to live a certain way. Just know what the outcome going to be. That's it. I, I, That's it. I agree with That's that. You know, that's all you can do. Because the world is telling people, oh, if you if you feel like you want to do this, do this. If you feel like you want to be a woman and you a man, be a woman. If you feel like you a man and a, a woman and want to be a man, be a man. If you don't want to be any gender at all, just tell people I'm going to be known by the. I'm not any well, gender. Well, what, what, what's so, uh, 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 the thing is, is that, you understand, when you started the conversation about uh, 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 the, there was a homosexual, and he said that, well, what about this? And what he was trying to negate his problem so that you can look at somebody else's problem. But you understand, you don't get a chance to do that. You understand, you're responsible for your actions and your actions alone. You understand, and those people that are 
those 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 uh, those people that are doing other things that are punishable by death, whether they're punishable by death or not, you understand, they are responsible for that. You understand what I'm saying? You know. Now you can bring that up in another conversation, but but you can't uh, you can't uh, uh, try to negate what you doing for somebody else. You understand? Now let me ask a question here. What is homosexual? What is that? My 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 interpretation, you understand, is that committing the act is homosexual. Right. Uh, uh, com uh, makes you a homosexual. If you never commit the act and you just got feminine, you just got feminine ways because everybody has a a feminine gene and a and a, a masculine gene, and sometimes. Mm -hmm. The masculine gene takes over the feminine, or the feminine takes over the masculine. But there's there's a there's a, 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 a there's always a, a something that that um uh well anyway you understand you know committing the act is a is homosexuality. If you never commit a, uh, the act, the homo is not a is not um you're not homosexuality. You just got feminine ways. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Okay, I'm glad you brought that up. I know this is about to get good. I know we're going to go into overtime. I just want to show you two scriptures. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. It says, And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be surely put to death. Now, this is when we come into our own kingdom and we are ruled under the under the government of Yah. If you do this, you will be put to death. Now, I'm glad you asked that question. You said only you're homosexual only when you commit the act. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, let me ask you a question, one question. So the act is called sodomy. Is that right? Yeah. So what happens when a man commits sodomy with his wife? What's that called? It's still sodomy. So is that homosexuality? It's not homosexuality. Well, see, you know, in see in these in these days and times, the wording and the the the, the meaning of words have changed drastically. You understand? Now I don't know how how that plays out, but we know it's sodomy. So guess what? Deuteronomy chapter twenty-three, verse and what seventeen. Is, look here. Let me let me go a step further. What is sodomy? Anal sex. Let me let me read it. Let anal read it. anal sex, right? Yeah. Let me let me read it. Let me read it. Oh. Deuteronomy twenty-three seventeen says, "There shall be no whores among the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite among the sons of Israel." So if that's the case. And we got now, they, these young people out here, not only are they having sex in the booty, they eating booty. So what oh, does that well, mean? I don't, know. I don't know about that. I think that that's a, that is a gross. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, uh, homosexual, I mean, sodomy is gross in itself, but then you want to add uh, 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 another, another uh, level. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it's far gone. That's why I said it's so much other filthiness and foolishness out there now. Listen, like I said, like all I can say is this for everybody. You better repent because you can right meet the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What happens with people, the husbands and wives that swingers? Because now that's the what happens, thing now. They, they swing and they sleeping with each other. They swapping wives. They are, are consenting to committing adultery. What about well, that? See, you know, well, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, I always believe things carry their own wickedness and evil with them. It might not be so apparent at the time, you understand, in front of everybody's face, but as we look at it down the road, you understand, they always carry a little <laughs> something that's going to uh, uh, make it, uh, 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 that's going to show who they are and what they are. You understand? You know, uh, you know. I've heard that that people commit sodomy. You understand? But long as they keep it in their household, it ain't gonna. It, it's what's name? But that. But um. Uh 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 uh. 
that it, it's, it, it could always, it, it, it's going to reveal itself at some point. His foot, like I said, it's all, I'm, listen, these kids done went to the left, they done went to the umph degree. When I tell you the umph degree, they have gone to the umph degree to the point where this is what they're doing. Yeah. This is what they're doing. No, well, that's why. That's why I see. You know, the Almighty going is response. Uh, the Almighty will get you. You know, for your for your doings, for what you do. You understand? That's how that works. You understand? The Almighty gonna get you for what you what you do. You understand? Sometimes for seen and unseen. That's what I say. <laughs> It's yeah. ugly. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean real talk. It's ugly. Yeah. You, understand? you know, they've been committing sodomy in their household, you understand? And they say, well, it's in my household, man. You know, you know what's name? But you can tell it because that, wo that woman is walking kind of funny now. <laughs> Hold on, Brother John. I want you to hear this, and this might be a little graphic for some people, but just listen at the tone of these kids. Listen. Watch what he say. Hold on, I'm gonna take this back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it, Bill. If you can't handle this, hang up, cause you need to hear this. This is what our kids is listening to. Listen. I'm scrolling through my comments, you heard? See how you look, pussy ass boys comment talking about some gay shoe eat ass. Yeah, nigga, I'm a gangster, nigga. Real niggas eat booty, man. Real niggas please they bitches, nigga. I don't get that. You heard that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Yes, my yeah. kids are listening to. That's because they don't know that there's a punishment due. Uh, you know, you got to be, they don't understand the punishment. And like I had mentioned years ago, you understand, is that because the Almighty had not shown himself or shown, you understand, because we in this captivity, man, the Almighty has not shown himself to us, you understand, so that we know that what we do has penalties. As, 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 um, you know, so we have to understand that, that, uh, that there's, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a penalty to what you do, but they don't know Ooh, that because, go ahead. Mm. I'm just telling you, Brother Donia, we have gone to the uff degree. We here now. It ain't, you heard what he said, and it's on YouTube. You heard what he said, his name, that it, it, Kevin Gates. He said, real niggas eat booty. That's what he said. <laughs> this is our kids. Our young people. This is what we do, man. Listen, we bet y'all better get to y'all's kids, I'm telling you. You'd be surprised. They might smile and not talk about it. But this is what's being done. I told you a young girl came to me and told me that a guy came at her like that. And she was like, I don't do that. I'm an Israelite. And I, I don't get on like that. He said, well, good luck with a boyfriend because you ain't going to find one unless you do do it. That's not true. That's not true. You understand? She just got a hold on, just like anything else, man. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, this you guys, man, like one of, they, they were all, uh, you know, these, uh, <laughs> it's a sad, sad day. We didn't went to, we there now. It ain't no turning back from that. We there now. Did, did we there, we have, they have crossed. I ain't heard nothing from Brother E. Rossi. No, he done got quiet. They done crossed over. They done crossed over. <laughs> They didn't no, I, I, I'm just, I'm just sitting here that? listening to the shock. <laughs> you say you in shock. Well, hey. Hey. I, I mean, you know, I don't generally fool around with a lot of crazy stuff. You know, we kind of close-knit family that stay with each other. You know, <clears throat> and it's just like we miss a lot of stuff. That's out there. I mean, my kids would probably be lost. what it is that's where we are 
sodomy is a common thing. So, you know, sodomy used to be something that would be identified as two men having sex with each other, but sodomy is being committed by husband and wife now. They doing this. They doing this. This is what everybody doing. And this is what it is now. It ain't no secret. Don't nobody hide it no more. This, this is what they doing now. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's just, you know. You know, you know like I said, man, you're responsible for your own car, yo. Your own butt. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And Ooh. you need to be, and you need to take a time and take a look at it from, from, you know what I'm saying? Watch what you're doing. Watch what you're saying. And the reason I say saying, because you can influence people by what you say, not necessarily by what you do. You can say stuff out your mouth, you know what I'm saying, that gives people uh, 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 an inspiration to do something. Uh, uh, <clears throat> That's, uh, that is really against what the Almighty had already had ordained us to do. So, you know, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a different, you know, we got to pray for this next, this this turnaround here. You know what I'm saying? It's going to turn around. The Almighty's coming to get us out of this mess. It's commonplace. This is what they do. This is what, but they don't know y'all. They don't care to know y'all. Don't nobody want to know him. They don't care nothing about that. They be like, I don't do church, I ain't into God, I don't do none of that stuff. I do what I want to do. And that's the world we live in here today. Our young people are living in that kind of world. They don't have a fear of the most high. Because you know why? Y'all been real quiet. He been yep. real quiet. I'm fear. Well, see, this is a punishment, man. He can't call this a punishment and then come get us. Because he did that all throughout our other captivities. You understand? We swore we was going to do the right thing. You understand? And, and he came and got us. We stayed 12 years. We stayed 70 years. You understand? From in, You know, and he came and got us. But this time is a difference, man. He's fed up. Fed up to his neck. You understand? That that he's, good. you know, he's not going to come and get us after he told us we're going to be in uh, punishment for 400 years. You understand? He, he's doing this because he said that he was going to, that we, we have to be punished for what we did, you understand? And in turn, he was going to judge these folks, you understand? The ones that it's held rough. us captive. Go ahead. Hold on. Area code 214, your mic is open. You're on the air. Yes, this is an interesting conversation. I hadn't planned on saying anything. But... When you talk about homo, I was looking up the definition. From what I can determine, it comes derived from Latin meaning man. So the question is, is it specifically talking about man as in male and female, or is it talking about mankind in general? So that's one thing. But also when you talk about what what kids are doing today, and not just, not just children, I mean, it's everyone, it's because people have no boundaries. So you're talking about um sodomy and you're talking about eating booty, people are actually eating crap. I mean, you can go on. There are no boundaries. You, That's crucial. You can see anything. Yeah, oh, there's something I watched and I thought, I think this may be my limit because it was something, two girls in a cup where one actually took and defecated ah. into a cup and then they both ate it. Mm. That's disgusting. This is for public consumption. Then That's they're not crazy. even talking about cunnilingus, which is very, 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 very prevalent. I mean, I read all kinds of books, and this is just like a common thing. So we're talking about things that we think are specific to men. We're not talking about what it is that women are doing. That's men, true. And men are doing to women. And so there, so one of the things we, we're talking about, we're focusing on one thing, but what we're really talking about, there are no boundaries. And the thing is, is, we have a God of order. We have a God that says, I have laws and I have rules in place, and there are consequences for violating these laws. So what we're talking about is we're talking about anal linkage, we're talk leakage, we're talking about anal um, cancers, we're talking about, when we're talking about oral sex and cunnilingus, we're talking about possibly having all kinds of mouth cancers, we're talking about all kinds of things that may manifest around the, the the, the outside of the mouth. We're talking about mm -hmm. things that can be internally ingested and start to manifest in the body. So you were talking about butt in injections. We're talking about all kinds of things that will impact us now. In the future, we'll talk, impact your children, your reproduction. There are any, and more than that, 
when you don't have boundaries, it means you don't feel safe, but, but also it, it means you're exposed to all kinds of things. that You can't even protect yourself because if you say everybody's doing that, things that make you uncomfortable, things that you don't want to necessarily do, you can actually be socially coerced, coerced into doing it because there is no foundation. There's no support for you to say, this is the premise on which I, this, this is why I say no. If you're not saying it because the Most High has said it, and then it, it has to be more than oh, God said and we're going to go to hell or there's going to be some consequence. We have to know there is a reason, an immediate reason, and then there is a reason that's going to manifest in the future. And more than that, we have to love the most high. I think that's the thing that's really key here. Do I really love him to the extent that I do not want to offend him? But if I'm just following a set of rules and the full rules can be um, – you know, they may be followed and they may not be followed and people have latitude to be, you know, whatever they're going to be because some, some people say this is right and some people say that's not right. We have to have something where we really are convinced within ourselves that this is the reason why I'm doing it and I need to know that there is a, a reason because I love him but also there's a reason that he has told me not to do things because there's an immediate consequence that I can see and then there's consequences I may not be able to see. But the thing is, is just telling somebody, you know, what the Most High doesn't want you to do or it's in the law. Um, it's going to take more than that because this society has actually, as you said, the Founding Fathers did not believe in this God. So people are serving these other gods. If you're talking about, you know, I'm going to do this because Yah is the, God of this, is the God of this nation, he's not. That's not even who people are being pointed to. They're being pointed to a God who says, um, do what you will and I'll forgive you. Actually, witchcraft, do us that will. So I, I'm rambling a bit, but it, it's more than just sodomy. It's more than just tunneling. It's just more than anal sex. It's more than eating crap. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's the Most High said, do these things and you will live. Why will I live? Yeah. Because I will preserve your life, and this is how I'll preserve your life. I will keep you from the pestilence. I'll keep you from the disease. I'll keep you from the regrets that you will have for having done something that you are internally embarrassed about but you can't really articulate because everybody says it's all right. Yep, that's true. That's right. You're right about that, sis. On the, on the, the embarrassment of it all, all of it, you won't have to never worry about it no more. And these are the things that is happening in the world today from both male and female, husband and wife, women on women, men on men. Everybody's doing whatever they want to do. They're doing it. Yeah, from young kids on up. We ain't even talking about old people that's grown and married. We talking about high school kids, teenage kids, young adults. These are the things that they're doing. Oh, it starts younger than that because there are no protections. There are no boundaries. Seriously, if I can access stuff, anybody can access stuff. And believe me, there is all there, there's stuff that will take you far and wide. It will introduce you to all kinds of things. And if you don't have someone who's sitting there really protecting you, because there should be an innocence. Uh, to me, children should be innocent. But it's hard to be innocent in this, in this society because to be innocent is to be vulnerable because there is no protection. And no boundaries. And no boundaries. And no boundaries. And that is why we're here. That's why we've been here for the last 10 years, 8 years, however long we've been here. That's why we're here. Because we have to, we have to educate our people. We have to educate other people. We have to educate all people. This is what your children are doing. So you can ignore it and act like they all innocent and stuff. This is stuff you don't know nothing about. You need to investigate and see what your children are doing. And some of the adults is doing the same thing. You know, so that's why we do what we do. And you know, it's it's gruesome and all of that, and it's a bit much, but it's needed to be talked about because who else is gonna bring it out? I don't hear nobody else talking about it. I don't hear nobody else talking about it. All they want to do is talk about homosexuality. It's a way, way past that. It's way worse than that. They can get back to that, but it's way worse than that. Anytime you eat poop, it's way worse than that. You got to, we, like I said, it's time to listen. Repent. Yeah, there's a lot more. Please me. <laughs> I believe you. No boundaries. No boundaries. None. Man, I just watched a video. Uh, a
to a video today where a, a, a grandson of a well-known pastor of the Holiness Church, man, if I played this video for y'all, you would be like, oh my God. The grandson said that the, pat the grandfather is a bishop in the Holiness Church, and he used to go around with him while he was preaching, and he waited till he was 18, and, and, and they was in a room, and he snapped him on his behind, and hit him on his, hit him on the front part of what, and told him, "I'm finna get some of that." His own grandfather. Mm. This is in the church, and they exposing their own family members. I just, I, I was in the club last week when I was working. Her and her brother both. She said she was three years old, and her father started having sex with her at three years old, from three to 17, and these are people in the church of God in Christ. She said nobody That's because they do not hear ya. No. <laughs> no. She said I was three, nobody protected me. This is, and this is why there needs to be, this is why we need a community. All eyes should be on, you know, I'll give you personal, I, when I was raising my son, I was in school, and I lived away from my family thousands and thousands of miles. I was hesitant to leave him with anything, but the thing that I did do was when he had a babysitter, there were two people there keeping eyes on him, and they were watching each other. They didn't know each other that well, but they knew each other enough to say, we have this child in our charge. And these were actually African men, but they, they had children of their own. And I felt safe leaving him with them because, first, they were in my program. But more than that, I knew what, how they felt about their children. And I knew that they, they, they were watching each other while they were watching my child. You have to have eyes, and then my child could talk, too. So he could tell me, and believe me, I would talk and ask him stuff. But, but more than that, just like the girl who's three, there has to be, yeah. Hold yeah. on, sis, I want you to hear it. Hold on just a second. Hold on. Where his yeah. linen closet is and the kitchen. He pushed me there, grabbed my behind, licked me in my ear, and said, I'm going to get me some of this. I froze up because this is my grandfather. Did you hear that? It's that kind of stuff going on. This is the kind of stuff in the church. This is going on in the church. And these people not dress up on the church on Sunday, and they're raping their own grandkids and their own kids. And preaching you down and crying, man, listen, y'all better repent. That's all I can say, because it's going to get ugly. I, I remember, I think you said something before where if you know something, you have to turn it in. This is why everybody needs to speak up. In the church, out of the church, it does not matter. Just because somebody makes a confession doesn't mean they're living anything doesn't mean they have anything. It's not what they say, it's what they do. If they're acting crazy, call them crazy. If they're doing stuff that's that, 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 um, sexually deviant or deviant in any way, call them on it because it protects not only the person who's being taken advantage of or harmed, it protects the entire community. That's how you strengthen and create a safe community. There can be no pockets where people can hide just because they have some title or just because they're making some profession. It does not matter. Yeah. And I love it that he's speaking out. Oh, they're all over <laughs> YouTube speaking out. They're all over YouTube. they telling on them. Bishops that's been in the church for years and years and years. People been paying time money, too. They're raping their own grandkids. It's been got way worse than anything we could ever begin to imagine. Y'all just don't know. People are turning the deaf ear to it because they don't want. They don't man, listen. They don't want to realize how far it's gone. But like I, the, the, like the man said, the man I played for you all today, the for the founding fathers of this nation did not believe in the God of the Bible. That ain't the God on the back of the dollar. That ain't the one they talking about. So, I just, I just, you know. I just had to say that. I wanted to put that on the record. I want everybody to know that, that it's out there. We better repent. Ain't nobody talking about repenting. They covering stuff up. 
they hide and stuff for people. They don't want this mess to come out because they know that if it do, it's going to damage the church's reputation and, and everybody else's family members that's doing this outside of the People doing everything and anything they are big enough to do. they talking about legalizing pedophilia. People are involved in bestiality. People doing everything they big enough to do. And all I can tell you is you better repent. All I can say. Because I do every day, daily, every minute. Please forgive me for the things that I have done. Have mercy on me. Show me some mercy. I, I, please forgive me for the sin that I have committed. Every day I go through that. Because guess what? You're going to you're gonna have to repent and turn. And it's like, please forgive me for the things that I have, the words that have come out of my mouth, the thoughts that I may have had. It's some serious stuff right here. That when the most, it's gonna man. Listen, I don't even know what else to say. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. But I wanted to share that with you so you'll know, because I know some of y'all in shock. A whole lot of people are hung up because they can't deal with the truth. That why I don't, I don't know. But I ain't trying to hear all that. You need to. This is what our kids. I mean, even our Israelite kids, when they go and they mingle and run these other kids, this is the stuff they talking about. Absolutely. I was going to say, yeah, run if you want to. It doesn't stop us from being the truth. And I live in splendid isolation, is what I, that's what I say. And I'm exposed to this stuff simply by virtue of the fact that it's there. I'm not even an, an immediate consumer. Like the girl said on the video, she said, if you young and you at home and your father is molesting you or doing something, you go tell somebody. Go tell mm -hmm. a teacher. Go tell a police officer. Go tell somebody. She sure did. You know, this is the stuff. From three years old to 17 years old, this girl did it with her own father. Her own father, and her mother was in the house. Her own father did this to her. Physically had sex with his daughter. And dressed up and went to church every day. I mean, on the days that they had it. Listen. Well, anyway, we running out of time. It's 521. This thing goes off at 530. But, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's just. It's, 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 I don't even know what to say. She said it's just unfortunate, you know, that this has to happen in our community, but it's happening every day. And she calls him a monster. She said this was a monster. We was living in the house mm -hmm. with a monster. Absolutely. Well, this is why the Almighty is going to destroy this place and has to, and has to call us out of here because this cannot be the whole the, the end of matters you understand this has to have a, a, a different outcome you understand uh, and the only outcome that i can see is that the almighty is going to come and get his people and when he brings us back there will be no unrighteousness seen amongst us in our land no mm -mm. no Everybody want to be on on YouTube. They everybody want to be on Facebook naked. Everybody taking naked photos. They doing all kind of stuff. And like I said, the only thing we can do is tell you: you better repent and change and turn and change from your wicked way. Cause we all doing it every day daily. We ain't telling you something we ain't doing. Cause we doing it every day. Cause we know he coming. And if they ain't telling you, repent. Because these people is exposing folks. They are exposing people. Woo! It just almost, it almost leaves you speechless. It do. It just leaves you speechless. It does. It really does. It's like I don't even know, you know, what to say from this point. How did we get so far gone? What happened to us that we went all the way to the left? This you is know, a punishment. Where, this, this is a punishment, uh, man. You know, do you did you read Deuteronomy twenty eight? We gonna do everything, yeah, I, everything. I know, I know, but it's just that's like, the sad. It, the sadness of it, you understand, is that I mean, 
No, the gladness of it is to know that the Almighty going to straighten all of this out. There's nothing that we can do other than to pray and ask the Almighty to forgive us for our sins. And that's an individual thing. Yes, we pray for the people, but individually. Hallelujah. You're right. You're right. It's going to take y'all. It's going to take y'all on this one. Yeah, I'm man. Ain't nothing, you, ain't nothing nobody could do, man. I don't care what who who it is. You understand? There ain't nothing that nobody can do. You understand? The Almighty got to come and straighten this out. There's nothing that we could do. Period. That's how that's far sad, gone it is. That's the sad, sad part about it. <laughs> you know, we can't do nothing about it. We got to watch this stuff play, play out. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Well, and, you, you know, know what? The reason that we have to watch it play out is because we got to remember. We got to remember, man, all, all the things that we went through, all the things that had happened to us. We got to remember that, man, so, it don't, so that we don't repeat it. Yeah, yeah. That is very true. I mean, I can't say nothing, but hallelujah, you are absolutely correct. You know, but somebody in the earth got to tell everybody, you better repent, because you're going to be held accountable for the things that you have done in the flesh. You're going to be held accountable for every person that you have hurt, every child that you've done something. You're going to be held accountable for that. And for you to still be preaching, and you done did some stuff like this, I don't know how. I really don't know. Well, yes, I do. I know how. But I'm just saying, it's just incredible. You know, it's, it's incredible. But you're going to pay for what you, we all going to pay for what we have done. You're going to pay. You know, I, you know, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 um, I told you all about this guy in Israel. I mean, in the, in the house of Israel, Israel, in Judah, you know what I'm saying, there was a guy that molested my daughter. And I didn't know about it at the time. You understand? I think about six months later, I found out about it. You understand? But had I done that, I'd be in jail today. You understand? But but it was because the Almighty, you understand, is so great in his infinite wisdom, he didn't allow me to get involved in that. You understand? And, and so I, for a long time, even after that, I wanted to see him get, I want to see him physically get paid for, for molesting my daughter because I couldn't do nothing for uh, uh, I couldn't save her from from, from that uh, that tragedy you understand and I see the the effects on it that it has on her today too but um and, and she's uh, uh she's 38 years old you understand but for a long time I wanted to see him get paid I want to see it but I, I said, man, I have, to let the Almighty, I have to let that go. I can't go my life waiting for him to get paid. I got to do my thing and try to console my daughter the best way I possibly can. Absolutely. And see, you know, when, when things like that happen to your children, as, as a child, you understand, it has a grave effect on them in, in, in the latter years. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I bet. And, and you know, you like you said, you got to help her get through it. you got to pray to the point where there's no hatred in your heart. And believe me, Yah is going to handle that. He's going to handle that. He's going to handle it. You're going to pay for what you've done. Go on. But see, it, it, ain't like, it, ain't like, see, it ain't like the fact that I wanted to see. See, I wanted to take my fist and crack him in the jaw. You understand? But I... But I have to let the Almighty do his thing. You understand what I'm saying? Because had I known what I know know now, I'd be in jail today. I was carrying a gun then. You understand? Yes. And I was Absolutely. eager to use my gun, but I couldn't find no situation that was going to put me in that position. I understand. Well, guess what? We're going to keep praying for her. we praying for Sister Couture and her family. Uh, we got to end our show now. I think it's been a very good show. Um, Brother Yerashlam, you want to give the information about the men's call? Yes, ma'am. I'll go ahead and give that. Men's call is every Tuesday night. It's every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The number for the call is 720-820-1215. It's 720-820-1215, and there's no access code needed. 
All oh, right, yeah. and we have we have a women's call that same time uh, at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the number is 712-770-4066. 712-770-4066, and the access code is 154-102-POUND, 154-102-POUND. And on that note, we're going to end our call. We want everybody to have a wonderful rest of your week, and we'll see you back here on, on Tuesday night, or we'll be back on uh, on our room podcast on a Wednesday night. Please come and join us. We would love to have you at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, to come into our Old Testament reading. Shalom, shalom, and have a wonderful rest of your week, everyone. Good night. Shalom.